Hundreds of area high school students walked out of class this morning to demand gun restrictions and speak out against gun violence. The organizer of the citywide event says they hope to get the attention of lawmakers and show them how many kids care about gun control. The students chose today because it is the 19th anniversary of the Columbine school shooting in Colorado. A group of Texas entrepreneurs with high hopes of making money off marijuana are meeting for the first of its kind conference in Austin this weekend. Organizers say the landscape on marijuana in Texas is changing very quickly, so it's ripe for entrepreneurs. The marijuana industry is projected to increase to over $30 billion by 2021. Our business news update now with Tony Casada from the San Antonio Business Journal. Tony? Thanks, Sherry. TechBlock, a local industry advocacy organization, this week hired Janine Wild, a former executive recruiter for Rackspace, as its first tech talent matchmaker. Wild is tasked with overseeing industry-led efforts to increase the number of tech workers in San Antonio, working with individuals seeking local tech jobs and helping employers find qualified workers. She is also expected to contribute to a central database of local tech jobs. San Antonio-based Valera Energy is updating its look at fuel pumps. The company is adopting a new design known as Vanguard, created by Atlanta-based Antista Faircloth Design at roughly 7,400 convenience stores where Valero's brand of gasoline is sold. So far, two local gas stations have been changed. Thanks, Tony. Links to these stories online at klrn.org news.